Hello everyone, this is the St. Luke Apostolate Channel. I am Yuri Maria, a faithful follower of Monsignor Dolan here in Brazil. I am a totalist set of Vicentus Catholic, a title given by our opponents. Today, I am speaking in English to address the slander and lies spread by Father Nathaniel Steenbergen of the Mater Boni Concilii Institute associated with the deceitful Father Ricasa. Father Nathaniel claimed on a Cita Privationist channel called the Pre-Vatican II Catholic Show that Bishop Gerard did not reject his thesis. He said that the letter we have here in Brazil and Mr. Remy from France is fake and that we are liars and forgers. Well, I will leave in the video description the expert report we commissioned to analyze the letter in which Bishop Gerard calls the Cassiacum thesis a foolish, or rather, idiotic thesis, containing enormous theological errors. The report was made by a forensic expert from the Brazilian Court of Justice, randomly chosen, so there is no bias, and the expert confirms that the letter is genuine and even shows in the report how he reached this conclusion through his study. To make matters worse, he confirms a second letter from Gerard in which we confirm that Gerard believed the real Paul VI was hidden in a basement and a false Paul VI had taken the throne of Rome, something similar to what the members of the Palmar de Troia church were saying at that time. He also believed in Garabandal, which is very strange, to say the least. So, who is lying, Father Steenbergen? I believe it is the members of the Mater Boni Concilia Institute who take advantage of the benevolence of the American Catholic people and fall for the lies you have invented. Moreover, we have witnesses that Father Ricasa also confirmed the letter is genuine. You are liars and have yet to apologize for the lies invented about the third secret of La Salette, claiming that this secret is on the index and was forbidden. But the funny thing is that Gerard himself encouraged it, including giving a Nile Obstat, nothing against, in a book about La Salette that contained the secret, Rome will lose the faith and become the seat of the Antichrist. The book even has a preface by Father Cordeville, who uses his studies of false decrees to try to refute the lie that the third secret was forbidden. Father Guard and Father Cordeville encouraged a book with the third secret. How long will we continue to accept the lies of the sea deprivationists? Father Desposito and Bishop Sanborn falsify old texts to say that it is not divine law that a heretic cannot be elected pope. How much lying? Lies, lies. All canonists are unanimous. It is divine law that a heretic cannot be elected pope and the matter of the papacy is the election. Once the election is over, the matter is over. Stop teaching lies. Why don't you say that you said to privationists believe that heretics can elect another heretic as pope, that a conclave of heretics is valid and licit? That is scandalous. Bishop Dolan was entirely right in saying the thesis has the taste of heresy, and today we see the hypocrisy when Bishop Sanborn praises Vigano as an Athanasius of our time. Meanwhile, he demoralizes Father Shikata and Bishop Dolan. Vigano, whom we don't even know if he is a bishop or not, has ties to the communist Russia of Dugin and accepts all the other antipopes from John III to Ratzinger as popes. It's ridiculous. See to privationists of America and the world, your lies will all be exposed. Take care of your souls. I will pray for you to leave this idiotic thesis, in the words of Bishop Gerard.